Hey guys and welcome to another episode. Today in this video, I'm gonna show you how to install a short shifter kit on your car. Now the installation is gonna vary between car and car. Now the, what we're gonna be doing today is we're gonna be taking out the OEM shifter and replacing it with this one. Now this comes with the linkages on the bottom so that this is gonna change the distance between say going from first to second. So what's gonna be changing when we shift our gears is the amount of throw between say third gear to fourth gear. This distance between each one of these gears is gonna be greatly reduced. So right now, we can measure this. So if we leave that there and grab our measuring tape, the throw between say gear three and four, see how that right there is five inches in total? Well, we're gonna compare that to what it's gonna be afterwards once we install the short shifter kit on the car. Now Volkswagen had to be difficult when they designed the car, so that normally when you install a short shifter kit, you're gonna take out the shifter linkages up here, take it out from the top, and then just swap it in with the new one that we have right there. Now because Volkswagen had to be difficult, we can't take it out from the top. So we need to remove some of the components from the top, but we also need to go from underneath the car, we're gonna need to move the exhaust out of the way, and then drop all the shifter linkages and everything so we can replace it with the new one. So to begin, we need to remove the shifter and the shift boot out of the way. Now this is gonna vary from car to car, but you can just go ahead and proceed with whichever way your car removes it. So for this car, we need to push forward on the little trim piece on the bottom, push it forward, lift it up, and then pull the entire thing back. That's gonna allow us to move that out of the way. You can then go ahead and remove this. So it's a little clamp that's securing the shifter in place, um, and it's securing it up to the shifter. Now we're just removing that little clamp with a little flathead, and you can see we can take it out completely. Now, this is the shifter. Now this fork right here is what's gonna be replaced with our new piece. So the distance between here to there is gonna be greatly reduced. So this piece is all gonna be replaced with our Megan Racing short shifter kit. Now next up, we need to remove this entire center console area out of the way. So there's gonna be a bolt down here, another one on the other side, and there's gonna be two more down um, by where your feet are. Um, and once we take those out, this entire center piece, we can remove. Now on another note, we're gonna be installing some shifter bushings while we're at it. So what it's gonna do is it's gonna be removing the play in the shifter. So if you can see right there, there's play in it and we're not actually changing gears. So even if you put it in gear, there's still play and we're gonna try and remove that by installing new bushings. So we're gonna to get to that once we get to that point. So once you have those four bolts out, we need to remove the little foam centerpiece found inside the shifter area. With that piece out of the way, we can then continue and pull out the center console and remove it from the car. Now this is gonna give us enough room to get working on the short shifter kit. Now when you're taking it out, if you have any electronics going to the center console, maybe it's heated seats, a cigarette light, um, a light or anything, make sure you disconnect that before you pull the center console out. So we had one connector right here, and that one right there is for the cigarette lighter. So if you have it, just unplug it, and then you can continue to pull the center console out. So if we're looking at the center console from behind it, we're gonna be removing one bolt found in front, right there. And then once we do that, we're gonna be pulling out the two other bolts right there that are gonna be securing the ball part of the shifter in place. Once you pull that little screw out, you should be able to pull on this side assembly right here, and that's gonna be connected to the shifter, which is gonna be pushing one of the cables either forwards or backwards. So I don't know if you guys can see that right there, but once we go under the car, you guys are gonna have a better look at all this stuff. Now, last but not least, before we go underneath the car, we're gonna be removing the two screws right here that are securing the shifter like the ball part in place. There's gonna be one in the back and there's gonna be another one right up front. Now next up, we need to go underneath the car and we need to remove this part here uh, for the shifter assembly. Now in order to do that, we need to go underneath and if you can, you wanna go ahead and disconnect the exhaust. However, our exhaust is very rusted so we're gonna cut it and then we're gonna clamp it back together afterwards. So the shifter assembly box uh, ranges from about here to here underneath the car. So because our exhaust is uh, somewhat rusted as a whole, we're gonna be cutting it right after the uh, catalytic converter. So there's gonna be a split, and then we're gonna be dropping down this part of the exhaust, so we'll have some room to work on it. And then from there, we can remove the heat shielding, and we'll be able to access it. Now if you guys noted the exhaust clamp right there, now we wanted to initially take that out 
and uh, move the back part of the exhaust back, drop the front part down, and give us enough room to do that. However, that exactly won't work. If you guys remember when we did the muffler delete on the car, we tried doing that exact same thing, and the clamps, the clamps would come out, but the exhaust is rusted to the other piece. So even when we took the clamp out, we couldn't separate both parts of the exhaust. So the game plan is we're gonna cut up a piece in the center, right about there, and then we're gonna clamp both of those two pieces back together. And we're gonna show you how to do that later, but in the meantime, let's get to it. Success. So with the exhaust cut like this, we now have enough room to move the heat shielding up top and we're gonna be dropping the rear part of the exhaust out of the way so we have enough room to work with. So after we cut off the exhaust right there, we removed some of the hangers out of the way and literally just pushed it down on the ground and it's out of the way so we have enough room up top to get access to the transmission and the shifter connection. So we're gonna work with that, we're gonna take it out and push it down and in order to do that, we're gonna have to remove those aluminum heat shields that are protecting the car from overheating from the exhaust. So I'm not entirely sure how well I can show you guys this, but this is the bottom plate that I was talking about. So we're gonna be removing the shifter linkages, the cables and all that stuff that's all gonna be disconnected from under here. So there's two screws down there on the bottom, the two bolts that are securing the bottom plate in, and there's gonna be two more up top that you can't see because of the heat shield. So we're gonna be removing all four of them, moving the plate out of the way, and then by doing that, we're gonna have room to remove our shifter. Now moving back into the car, I'm gonna be loosening up these two bolts. And once I loosen them, you can see that all this just broke free. So this is all loose. Okay, Luca, you ready? Yep. Okay, so I'm gonna remove them completely now. Okay, so one of them's out. And here comes number two. Okay, number two is out. So once you have those bolts loosened up from underneath, the entire transmission shifter, you should be able to slide it down. Like that. Hello. Hola. <laughs> <laughs> so in order to get access to the goodies on the inside, we need to remove the bottom plate right here. Um, and that's gonna give us access to all the cables and everything that we need to get access to. So you can see that we just pried out the tabs on the side. Now we're almost there, we've got them almost all out. And once we do that, we can get access to the transmission shifter. Is that money that fell out? That's where it went! I dropped a penny in there before. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Yo, I'm rich. Making bank. Okay, so. I can hear it whenever I turn really hard. Good. So there you guys have it. So that is the inside, and that's where our shifter mechanism and all that stuff is. So now from underneath the car, we remove that front plate that was covering up everything down here. So as you can tell right here, we have two of our cables for our transmission. We have the one right there on the left and the other one on the right. And both of those are attached to the shifter. Now, if you remember before, I told you we'd be replacing the bushings as well. We have two bushings, one of them attached on each one of the cables. So we have the first one right there and then we have another one back there. Now we're first gonna go ahead and disconnect everything and install our short shifter. And while we're installing our short shifter, we're gonna be installing the new bushings as well. Now the bushings we picked up from Diesel Geek, and I'll have links to that stuff in the description box along with the shifter if you guys want. So first things first, we need to remove the first little clip on the, fir on the front part of the shifter. I'll actually first clean up any extra grease, but yeah, there's a little black clip that we need to remove. Right there, that little black clip and it was attached right there on the end of that bushing. So with that out, we should be able to slide the first cable out of the way. Now the second cable is attached in the exact same way, so there's a black little clip that we need to take out. Set that aside, because we're gonna need that when we install the new ones. And then we should be able to slide the, uh, the shifter cable out of the way. So you can see we have the one disconnected and then we have the other one disconnected as well. So slide both of those out and we need to take out the shifter now at this point. Now just to make this a little bit easier, we move back inside and we put the two bolts in, securing the top part uh, of the casing for the transmission. So right here, the shifter is essentially out. 
Now it's not connected down underneath by any cables, so we should at this point just be able to pull it up and out, potentially. Yes. So the way you get these things out is, once you pull it out of here, you have to rotate it about 90 degrees. And if you look down there, there's a piece of metal that has to fit through a little like slot. It's a pain. To I'll get. show you guys in a second what it looks like. I don't know if I can get the camera in there, but there's like a little slot as to where um, you would slide this out. Okay, so there you go. That's there we out. Are. Okay, so move the shifter out of the way. If you can see right there, see that little notch on the right? If the camera will focus on it. The little notch on the right, that's gonna allow you to twist the shifter out of the way and pull it out. So, there is the OEM shifter. You're gonna have to keep this uh, little bushing holder. Cause that's gonna be attached to the new one. Yeah, that's gonna be getting part. put on there. Yep. So at this point, we can take that off and transfer whatever we need from the OEM shifter onto the new one. So this right here is what the aftermarket Megan Racing short shifter looks like, and we have to transfer that little cup back onto here. Now the old grease that was in there, if you want you can replace it, so first clean it out, and then put some 3M silicone paste on both uh, the shifter itself and inside the little bushing part. That's gonna allow everything to smoothly shift, um, rotate, and do everything properly uh, without any grinding or stickiness. So we just applied a little bit on the inside of the bushing. You can see it in there. So some silicone paste is gonna be on the inside lubricating all of that. So once you have it on there, you can slide it over top of the little ball. And then rotate it around just so that the grease is all lubricated in there. So see how it moves nicely? Mm. <laughs> mm, you like that? Mm. See, that's what happens when you put new lube in everything. Oh my gosh. Smooth as butter. Okay, so at this point, the shifter is essentially installed up here at the top. Luke, move your hand. So the shifter is essentially installed up here. Now we have to go back underneath and install the shifter cables um, to the bottom side of the shifter mechanism. So next up, we're now back underneath the car and we're gonna install the shifter bushings attached to each one of these knobs. So we've got the first, the forwards and backward one. So we're gonna mount that up, up front. Now all it does is it snaps right onto the shifter fork. So onto the, uh, onto the shifter lever, it attaches right onto the bottom. So the OEM one is made out of rubber and this one right here from Diesel Geek is made out of polypropylene. Now once we have the bushing on top of the shifter mechanism, we're gonna then go ahead and we're gonna install a little C-clip, like right next to it, and that's gonna secure it in place. Ooh. Okay, if we don't lose it. <laughs> so after you have the polypropylene bushing mounted on top of the shifter mechanism, we're gonna then go ahead and install a little C-clip over top of it to make sure that it's securely installed and it's not gonna go anywhere. So it's gonna slide over top, Now when you guys are doing this, be careful because these little C-clips like to fling out. Alrighty, so we now went ahead and attached the C-clip attached onto the bushing. Look, can you show us where? Right there. So we attached that in place. So right now the bushing and uh, the cable isn't gonna go anywhere. Now just to be sure, we're gonna install the black clip, the OEM clip that was attached to the transmission, like to the shifter cables. So all that we do is we push it back on and it like snaps in place. So now with both cables and both of the new bushings in place, we can then go ahead and put all this stuff back together and we're gonna be done down here. So we're gonna mount the bottom plate back up over top of this, um, over top of the shifter. And once we're done there, we can go ahead and reinstall all the heat shielding, the aluminum heat shielding that was found down here in the tunnel. And then we can go ahead and finally remount our exhaust back up. So now that we go back into the cabin, we're gonna look at all of this. So right now, none of this is really connected. Now we need to secure all of this down. So if we use the shifter mechanism, it should engage all of our gears. Now before we actually go ahead and continue with that, we've got one screw right here that needs to be inserted into there. We're gonna tighten that up. And then at that point, we need to install this piece. So this goes over top of our shifter and this well, this is specifically designed for our Mark IV Golf. Now, this is going to allow us to engage all of our gears, and it's going to have a little block out for reverse. So when we go to try and engage reverse, we're going to have to lift up the shifter and go over this little safety mechanism. It just prevents you from engaging reverse accidentally. So if we take a look, this is the OEM one. We don't need that anymore because we have an aftermarket one. And then we can go ahead and continue to install the screws that are included with it. So we've got one up here in the front. I'll line that up. And then we're gonna have another one on the rear. And you tighten both of these up with a T20 Torx. 
So whenever you're ready, you can go ahead and tighten all this stuff down. So we have that guy there tightened now. And I went ahead and tightened up both that bolt and that bolt. Now we need to proceed and install the rest of the short shifter kit. So when we slide this little piece over top, we're gonna have it like this with that little hole. You can see that there on the side. And along the side of here, there's a little hole in there. And we're gonna be putting a pin through both the shifter and this purple piece. So if we slide that down, I can't do this with one hand, but you can slide that up and we're gonna hammer or push in, press, do whatever you can. You're gonna be pushing that little pin inside the shifter and that's gonna be holding that in place. Now next up, we're gonna be installing this spring right here over top and this little special shift knob, if you can see, see how there's room on the inside? So the spring is gonna sit in there and we're gonna thread this over top of the spring and that's what's gonna be putting pressure on the purple part down here. So when we pull this up, we're gonna have the spring pushing against the shift knob and that's what's gonna be creating our tension. So we just thread it on. However long the threads are. <laughs> and once you're at that point, that's how you engage reverse. So you lift it up, you're in reverse. And if when you have it down like this, come on, when you have it like this, You've got this little piece right here blocking you from engaging reverse. So when you're driving, say if you wanna go from third gear, maybe to second or first, you're not gonna accidentally say, go from second into neutral and then into reverse, where you'd be damaging your transmission. So at this point, one, two, three, four, five. And for reverse, pull up, there we go. Now before we continue anymore, you're gonna have to remove the shift knob and the spring so that we can put our center console back over top of all this. So, and then at that point, we can put our shift boot on and then put our new shift knob over top of this along with the spring. So we're putting the center console back in. Now make sure when you throw it back in, you reconnect any connectors, whether it be the, the, the seat heaters or whatever it be. Now if you guys remember, there were four bolts that were holding down the center console up to the car. So we're gonna have to install those once we have the center console in place. So next up, we need to reinsert the little foam piece back into the center console. So we just stuff it in place. I'm not entirely sure what it's for, but we're just gonna put it there because it doesn't hurt us. I don't know, it doesn't do any damage, so we're just gonna stuff that back in there. Now at this point, we need to put our little shift boot back over top of all this, but we can't use our old shift knob. Now the reason being is that we have this entire new mechanism. So if we try to put this back on, it's not gonna work. So we're gonna use the new, Oh, can we use it? Hey. Oh, okay, I was actually, I was kidding, but. That actually might work. <laughs> okay, engage reverse though. Oh, no, that's breaking. So you can't go into second or fourth. <laughs> All right, so. So we can't use that. We're gonna use the Chrome one that came with it and we're gonna use um, our old OEM shift knob as opposed to the aftermarket one, the red one right there. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna slide this inside out and we're gonna attach a zip tie on the end of it. And that zip tie is gonna attach itself to down there to one of those rings. So we're gonna get a proper, nice, snug fit. So once we have it over top of our little purple mechanism right here, we're gonna attach a zip tie on the end of it. And that's gonna make it so that the shift boot isn't gonna slide anywhere and it's gonna stay in place. Now it's also very handy because the purple part of the shifter is ribbed. So, this, so the zip tie is gonna stay in there and it's not gonna move upwards or downwards on the shaft. So once you have it at the proper height, you can put your zip tie on the shift boot and pull it tight. So the shift boot isn't gonna go anywhere. And then with a, with a pair of scissors or anything, you can trim off any excess of the zip tie. Just like that. So we can now re-invert the shift knob over top of the center console. And we can push it down in the boot, which will give us this. Now next up, we need to reinstall that spring and our silver chrome shift knob over top. Now if you guys have a different style thread on shift knob, you can get this to work without an issue. Cause like, okay, this is neutral. First is just like an inch and then over. Reverse is like. <laughs> you like it though, huh? Yeah. So there's the function. Okay, look, a cycle through one through five. So one. Two, three, four, five, 
and then go back to our neutral, pull up the reverse lever all the way over and up. And from here. So there you guys have it. Now we're gonna measure the distance between um, say third gear and fourth gear just like we did before, just to give you guys an idea as to how different this is. So we have our new shift knob and everything right here. Now right now the vehicle is in third gear and if we move the throw from third to neutral to fourth, you can see that the throw of it is between say three and a half and four inches as opposed to the five five and a half inches from stock Now if you guys remember how we installed those bushings back into the transmission shifter So what that did is it reduced the amount of play there was between gears. So right now There's not much And if you remember before there was a lot more so this makes not only our transmission feel better But now with our short shifter we can make our gear changes that much faster if you guys are looking to upgrade your car with a short shifter kit, don't be intimidated by this install. For instance, my Accord and even the Mini, the install is all done from above. So if I get around to installing a short shifter on either of those cars, I'll show you guys definitely how to do it because it's a lot easier on a car like that. This is essentially worst case scenario when you have to move the exhaust, the heat shielding, and go from underneath the car. If you guys want to pick up any of the stuff I use today, you guys can check out the description box down below. Otherwise, if you have any questions, throw it down in the comment section below and I'd be happy to help. Again, guys, thanks for watching. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace. Now to change over the short shifter kit. Okay. Oh, that hurt a lot. Good. Oh man. What'd you do? Oh, that's some good amount of skin on your handgun. Oh, that's nice. You guys see that? You guys see that? Mmm. Uh. Well, that's why you wear gloves. <laughs>